My name is Justin Alice. I live in Des Moines. I'm a seventh generation Iowan, and I'm a direct descendant of Lewis Jones, who was one of the farmers that donated the land, which is now Woodland Cemetery. When I moved back to Des Moines roughly six years ago, I lived pretty close to Woodland Cemetery. I knew that I had some relatives buried there, and so I kind of set out on a quest to find out who they were and uh, of what consequence they were to Des Moines. And so we'll we'll start with Lewis Jones. And Lewis was born in Kentucky, Fleming, Kentucky, in about 1805. There's some reports that say 1806. And I don't know specifically when he came to Des Moines, but the land transaction for Woodland Cemetery occurred in 1848. So he was certainly here before then to have his uh, farmstead established by then. And he lived at about 21st and Grand, of which is now about the location of Iowa Public Radio's actual uh, headquarters there. What I've also read is that the original plot for the cemetery was to extend on to Grand, and, or, or to Grand, which would have been neighboring his homestead. And not unlike today, not everybody wants a cemetery in their, in their backyard, or in this case, his side yard. So he negotiated with whomever the cemetery trustees were to say, hey, how about I give you the back part of my farm so that I'm not looking at these graves? And so plots one through eight were donated by Lewis Jones, and um, he has a family plot there. I understand why a farmer would donate that land for the cemetery because it's wholly unsuitable for crops. You know, it's, it's a wooded area and it's, it's pretty hilly. 